Hey, it's James Raby. We have to say something here, but I don't want to say much. Thanks for listening to the Y105 FM Early Morning Show Radio On Demand Podcast. Love you. You love. Snow covered roads, but you got to get to uh, Blue Earth or so before you really hit that. It is Y105 FM's early morning show. Of course, it's slippery. Be careful. Does Buffalo Bill's safety, DeMar Hamlin's collapse on Sunday, make you wonder if you should uh, let your kids be involved in youth sports? And Janice is on the phone on Y105 FM, and her son goes to Kingsland and was going to go out for football, but changed his mind. What if he hadn't changed his mind? If I had any money, I'd probably bribe him not to play. <laughs> I mean, I, I think that I have good faith. But I would worry. I can't help it. You know, I, I would worry the whole time because things happen. I mean, not that he couldn't do be in the marching band and have somebody trip him. And, you know, you can get hurt no matter what you do. But I just think, yeah, I, I, I'm i glad. I am so glad that he changed his mind. Yeah. From the Y105 FM app, Charlie says life has risks. Deal with it. Uh, Charlie's right. Life does has risk, have risks. But I don't know. Don't, don't most parents try to. Teach their kids to gauge that risk before they engage in whatever it is. I don't know. I think they do. I don't have kids, so I don't know. Lily said on the Y105 FM app, my kid played high school football and was great, but ended up with issues in college that the doctor said were related to his concussions from football. I'm just throwing that out there. I'm not trying to tell parents what to do. What do you think? 507-292-1053 or go ahead, hit chat on the Y105 FM app. There are new COVID-19 booths. Talk about what we're talking about, Damar Hamlin's collapse on Sunday and how that affects her decisions and thoughts about kids being involved in sports in high school or middle school. Hi, it's James Raby. It's Y105 FM's early morning show. Yeah, the roads are a bit slippery. You want to be careful, but it's not like yesterday, thank goodness. So, Katie, uh, you don't feel like you should say no. Why? Because I don't feel like it's fair to hinder a child when all their other friends are doing it. Mm-hmm. But, you know, they I think that nowadays they use enough precaution with kids that it's fairly safe to at least let them try. But I think I, think I know my kid well enough that if he'd have gotten one good hit and got hurt, he'd yeah. have been done. All right. Hey, thanks for calling in. I appreciate it. It is Y105 FM's early morning show. How long is this slushy? snowy wintry mix gonna last well we'll find out next on y105 fm at work variety sounds like this is why you keep a shovel even a tiny shovel in your car during the winter hi it's james ravy you're listening to y105 fm's early morning show i'm kind of giddy about this story because it just it's so minnesota right now in st louis park an on-ramp on a highway 100 had a traffic jam a car at the end was stuck in the snow could not get out and i get it you know, you got these huge lines of cars trying to get onto the highway, and so there's one at a time, whatever. It was stuck there. And I'm sure people were getting frustrated. But instead of just honking their horns, this is where the Minnesota nice comes out. This is the real Minnesota nice. People with shovels started showing up to shovel the on-ramp and, uh, and clear it out and get that car unstuck. And then they kept clearing the space so it wouldn't happen again. Because you don't just solve the little problem, you take care of the big problem. It's just phenomenal. The story's going to be up on the Y105 FM map a little later on this morning. And it's just, it's a very long MnDOT video. And someone comes along in a truck, and they reach in, they stop on the side of the road. They, they pick up their, uh, open the back of the truck and get, you know, open the topper and get shovels out. And pretty soon, people are getting out of their cars and joining them with the shovels they keep in their trunk for just such an emergency. Now, are those mini shovels? Yes, they are. Do they still work the same way? You bet. And with a ton of people doing it, the place has cleared pretty fast, and they didn't just get that one car on stock. They made sure that others wouldn't either. I just think, I know, I know, it's dangerous, but you know what? It's Minnesota, and these cats got involved, made a change, and got someone out of that mess, and then they too could get on their way. And I bet they didn't even know they were being recorded, but they were, and you can see the video a little later on today on Y105 FM's app. We're going to kick off the 8 a.m. all-music hour. That's 105 minutes of commercial-free music next. 2023 starting without a bang. And it's the perfect time for Kohler to introduce their new $11,000 smart toilet. I I assume it's for people that aren't very smart because they're buying an $11,000 toilet. Oh, for crying out loud. It has LED lights, a heated seat. Well, that'd be nice, actually, for a little while anyway. And uh, an emergency flush option in case you lose power. It has a deodorizing system. It has a bidet, which is awesome, and also has a bunch of other options, including room for a speaker. Now, I don't think they mean like there's a podium 
and someone can come and give you a TED talk while you're you know, doing your business. But fifth, eleven, eleven, eleven thousand dollars for a toilet? I mean, I like the idea of a bidet toilet. That's great. If I could get one, I would in a heartbeat. But I'm not paying eleven thousand dollars for it. Good heavens! And there's one more thing I wanted to mention real quick. Uh, McDonald's in some places, the managers are offering fifty bucks an hour to get people to work on shifts no one wants to work. And I gotta say, heck yeah! Some employees are trying to work as many as 17 hours straight to make $850 before taxes. And I know there's some folks saying, that's awful. But you know what? That's, that's, that's the system. If we got something you want, we can sell it for whatever price we want. And we'll accept the price we get. That's the deal. And I think it's awesome. It won't last forever. And it probably won't, it probably won't you know, do any good in the long run. But, I mean, that's the system. We're under. We charge what the marketplace can handle. And that doesn't mean just for goods. It means yourself, too. Yeah, I just think it's neat. It's Y105 FM's early morning show. The music you know, the music you love. Prude, right? If you know me, you know. James? Yeah, he's not a prude. But I think this is just one step too far, TikTok. Hi, it's James Raby. It's the Y105 FM early morning show, Raby Shot. It's no heads in the news, and TikTok is talking about adding adult content available only to people 18 or over. Well, there's a lot of uh, inappropriate content already on TikTok. Inappropriate as in, oh my gosh, these people say hateful, horrible things. There's uh, That's pretty adult to me. There's a lot of very sexual content on there. And I have I have manicured, or whatever you want to call it, uh, manicured? That's not the right word. My, my feed, so I don't get all that angry stuff. I, I, get, I mostly get how-to videos, really, some comedy. But I don't think we need to be adding another adult space. You know, you want you want that? Subscribe to OnlyFans. I'm <laughs> just, you know, get over there. Ugh. And I'm not a prude. I just don't think we need it everywhere. It's Y105 FM's early morning show. Need to picture Menard. Hey, it's James Raby. Thank you so much for listening to the Y105 FM early morning show radio on demand podcast. I hope you'll subscribe and tune in Monday through Friday between 6 and 10 for more fun than you can shake a stick at.